Bothered by the falling standard of tertiary education in the country, the House of Representatives on Thursday has passed for second reading the bill seeking to regulate Nigerian University Commission's Act to expressly give the Commission powers to regulate the conditions of service and procedures of engagement of academic and non-academic staff on part-time basis or visiting lectureship. The bill was sponsored by Abbas Tajuddin from Kaduna State as he observed the gradual decay and falling standard in the nation's university education. Because of increase in the number of universities over the last 10 years and the scarcity of experts in some specific fields, NUC came up with an initiative that a university can set up a, a program even if they don't have the required manpower because they can be able to outsource from other universities. That outsourcing of lecturers from one university to another is what is called visiting lecturing. Lawmakers in their submissions observe that though visitation and part-time practices by lecturers is good for intellectual sharing of ideas and experience, it will become counterproductive if not regulated by the NUC. They also blame poor remuneration for the movement of these lecturers. The NUC has no power to regulate that. So by this amendment, the NUC will be given power so as to know the workload of each of these lecturers so that you don't take more than you have power to do. That will lead to at least higher input from our lecturers. My colleagues, we have no other option than to accept this amendment. University lecturers going, you either call it part-time, you either call it visiting lecturers in more than three, four, five institutions. And at the same time, where do they have that excess time to go while they are asking federal government to pay them for excess workload? Mr. Speaker, I think this bill will help the National University Commission to be aware on how or about how many hours each lecturer is taking in his various universities. Mr. Speaker, my dear colleagues, beyond that, this has even brought the issue of research to its lowest ebb. The university's lecturers don't have time to conduct research. They move from one institution to the other, helping in accrediting courses in other institutions that are not supposed to come to play. Honorable Bode Ayori's attempt to question the bill was quickly addressed by other lawmakers who corrected the impression that the bill was intended to use sub powers of university governing councils. The number of academic staff, particularly those with PhD, senior lecturers and above, cannot serve more than one third of the number of higher institutions in Nigeria as of today. Therefore, the NUC currently encourage each lecturer to pick up part-time lecturers in two other universities because you cannot have enough lecturers to man the universities you have in Nigeria today to legislate or restrict lecturers from lecturing in other universities today is to close down a number of universities who will not be able to have lecturers to teach a number of courses. My colleague I've been talking of has to do with regulation of entire institution, the working, I mean the working agreement of lecturers and all that, which is not what, yes. uh, 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 yes. which is not what is being sought for here. Yes. What is being sought for has to do with regulation of physician lecturer Order. and part-time lecturers and not the entire system. They argue that the proposed bill is not in any way against mainstream academic staff but for visiting and part-time staff. The bill passed for second reading by a majority void vote and was consequently referred to the Committee on Tertiary Education and Services for further legislative action. Emmanuel Higine, PTV News.